and it is the time, and the date is under my thumb. Batch is the director, Matt's on the camera today, folks. Give him a round of applause, take one. Experimental show, Bumpy did, Pumpkin. Did you see what's on scene? Pumpkin. Or was it a bumpy pumpkin? Bumpy pumpkin. So really quick, we couldn't find the soft chair. It was hiding on the table next to the Anila reveal. It's too soft. <laughs> so we got our three legs. This is what I was talking about, that like it got kind of dirty from the tool. The cushion and then for the your little tush. belly button, the torch kind of got it blue. So I'm gonna sandblast it. That's gonna take away that color, maybe some of that. Okay. And then Lucy's gonna knit a little blanket that will hang, drape over the chair. And I see this on our fireplace mantle. Yeah. It's the soft chair. All right. Okay, uh, bumpy chair, you're going first. It is bumpy pumpkin are the oh, words that pumpkin. were voted for Hello. on uh, Instagram and Facebook. We give you two words, two sets of two words each week, and we let you guys decide what's going to be going down for the experimental show. And Michelle is going to do what I did last week. Hey, and no, no, no. Don't tell me. I can't tell you anything, but... I'm gonna go first and I'm gonna make a bumpy pumpkin and it's gonna be a warty pumpkin like we literally talked about on Tuesday's show. We're gonna add warts to the pumpkin. Do you see how that works? He thought about it, rode his bike home, stewed in his brain two days later, look what pops out. Well, boom. Oh. Well, I know exactly how I'm gonna do it. We got Marini up in the garage back there at a thousand degrees. You got these hungyocks back here just getting crazy and we won't let them bother us too much I'm gonna because go get they got a lot ice. of good stuff happening. And She's going to get some ice. I'm going to get out the orange colors. So you can see the colors that these guys were using over here. We just did a swap with them. They got a lot of blues, a lot of greens. They were making drinking horns. So I'm going to take, uh, we're gonna maybe leave the white just in case, but I know I'm for sure not going to need this deep, uh, transparent blue. That's a beautiful color. One of the cheaper colors on the, on the periodic table because it's cobalt that makes this blue, but within the next 20 or so years, it's predicted that cobalt's gonna be one of the more expensive uh, situations for us to get because of electric vehicles. So we're gonna see how that goes. But uh, we'll put that one away. I'm gonna pull out an orange that I'm really excited to you, a bright, vibrant, tasty, classic orange because if I'm gonna go for a warty pumpkin here, I don't want to have it be some bright, crazy color. For the first ever wart special, it's got to be classic orange with these kind of orange slash brown slash deep blue warts all over it, folks. How many of you guys have warts out there? Let's hear it in the chat. Oh, yeah, that's going to go over what? real well. <laughs> that's a good question. Uh-huh. All right, here's one of my favorite oranges. It's bright, it's popping. We got big chunks, so it's going to be dense and tremendous. And look at it in the sunlight. Maybe it's too bright. For the Did camera. you just Who take knows? some of my colors? I took the cobalt out. Yeah, the blue. I got rid of the blue. All right, that's for you. These are mine. All right. To Pumpkin Town. Let's see here. I need this tremendous pumpkin mold. Many a pumpkin have been sculpted with the ribular texture of this mold. We got all the tools. I'm going to bring out my favorite pair of jacks specific for making pumpkins. They got a super tight line. They pop off really easy. The only other thing we're going to need to do is situate our knockoff station because pumpkins do deserve or require a different set of tools than your traditional uh, situation. So that can stay right there. Aren't they gonna need it? Yeah, they'll use it for the knockoff here. That's just fine. I'm gonna need that at the bench. We already talked about it, we're good. We're gonna need this, like this. Maybe we'll switch from this time to do the pumpkin, or how do you want to do the stem? Maybe I'll have one of these guys hop in. We haven't done stems together in a while. Oh, yeah, Matt and I will switch. Okay, yeah, Matt and I will switch. It's perfect. Hear that, Matt? You and you Matt. You good? You'll we'll help switch. me make the pumpkin stem. Uh, we got that, that, and I need you a pair of You don't want my rusty pumpkin stem ability. All right. Shall we? Yes. 
Not now, when we get to the stem stage. When the sun is beaming down on all the pipes like that, they get nice and warm. It tests your callus uh, ability on your hands, which is a good thing. Uh, is that orange still out there? That was just what I grabbed, yeah. So if I could just get that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jake is setting it up. The hot shop is rolling. Your relaxing Sunday morning is not as crazy as our day here. Packing up goodies for the Renaissance Festival. Looking for a towel to First clean the First ever Wardy special. Like I was saying, it's gonna be traditional because we're adding the wards to it. We should start with something we know is good and will we'll do well. So it's gonna be this bright orange. I'm also just gonna make it a classic roundy. You know, I'm not gonna go for the squatty. I'm not gonna go for the Frankie. I'm not gonna go for the squasher. Just gonna keep it traditional. Two schmacks of the Naran, huh? That's orange in Spanish. I know Is it's it not really? how you pronounce it, but uh, it's pretty Are close. you using these colors too? Negative. Three schmacks of orange. I do have a pretty big gather here. It's going to be a little bigger than a medium pumpkin. It's probably going to be a... Yeah, it's pretty big. A medium large, or as they say in uh, Starbucks, a grande medium special or whatever they call it. I don't know. I Experimental is always mini size. Not mini size, but smaller size. So if there's glitches... I don't think any of our fans shop at Starbucks, do they? I shop at Starbucks you 100%. Go to Starbucks? Absolutely. Really? Yeah, I love their dark chocolate, or not dark roast. And when I'm traveling, that's like my go-to. The restrooms are clean, it's consistent. And yes, I Google smaller coffee shops, but when we're driving on the freeway and there's a Starbucks, that's like the one time I get the super goopy coffee. Yeah, I listened to a podcast about people, uh, about money and how people spend more in scenarios like that, traveling yeah. or like. I can see that. Pretty interesting. I mean, I don't do fast food and we do local juice all shops right. and all of that jazz. When We're gonna take it to Puff Town here. Okay, when are you adding the Marini? Right after we deposit or depart from uh, Puff Town. Leave it thick so the marini Hello? stick. That's a good call. Hello? It's that cord. Hello? A little more. Good. Oh, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> that does it. Are we back? All right. All right, we're back. I see us on the screen over there. Yeah, and you know what happened? We just like stretched the cord a little bit too much. So you didn't miss anything, just me blowing it up like a giant balloon. I suggested to Jake he leaves it thicker. That way it holds its heat a little longer so the bumpies will stick to it. The bumpies. Am I torching them on the marver? What do you I think? I am going to torch them. If you would bring them over one at a time, and we, I will stick them One on at a place. time? Yep. No. Yep. You're going to put like 30 on there? No, like five or six or seven maybe. Have you ever seen a bumpy pumpkin? This one has less warts. Okay, tell me what when you you're ready. Bulletone? No, we got the small one with smaller uh, action, and then there's the big one. Are you ready now? There's, there's a small one right here. Yeah, I'm ready. I had to turn that fan off though. All right, my thought was you were gonna put these on the marber and heat them up with the torch. Fine, I'll do two at a time. And then roll over it. Son of a, that fan is killing me. Do, 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 do. 
What the fudge? Dude. Dude. Sorry to yell into the camera there. Nothing easy going on when there's a fan no blasting doubt. right in your face. Excuse me, folks. Opposite side, so it falls back down. Try and get two spots. The trick is that orange is not the easiest color right now for me to do this with. It cools down so fast. So I gotta get these on here rapid. Oh yeah, that's nice. I don't know if this is worth it or gonna work. So you want me to roll them on the table and I torch them gently with a fluffer torch and then you roll over it? Nah. Let's just put like three more on and then it'll just be a special thing. It's the experimental show and this experimentation is incorrect. It's a false experiment. All right, so I will do what I'm gonna do after and then we're coming back to this. It's not over till it's over. <laughs> it's over. Is what it is. So that's that. Stop it. Let's trade positions. Then. What a horrible situation. There's our one ward on it. Look at how nice that is. <sighs> wow. All right. Jacob, you're great. Can't we roll, put these on the marver and torch them and if then I pick them up? If I get this hot enough to roll it on there, it's not going to look like a pumpkin anymore. It's going to look like a big old deflated bag of leaves. <sighs> but do you want to try it? Yeah. All right. I'll get the big fluffer torch. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you don't drink monster drinks. Because that crash from the monster is not fun. Jake has turned into a monster. So my idea is this, to put the Marini on the Marver, and then they will be soft enough that I can pick them up on the ribs. So he's going to use the bigger fluffer torch. I'm using the bench torch to kind of heat an area. So I'm just spreading these little honeys out, you know. This is what Michelle wants to give a shot to. So I'm just gonna do one of those, you know. I'll go all over the place and uh... Why not? How do you experiment? How do you come up with new ideas if you don't try something new? So now you want me to take it to Fluffy? Yep. Flufflin. Here comes the fluffer. This is like naming your uh, humongous dog Fluffy. What's going on here? I saw a St. Bernard today that was so clean. Usually those dogs are all sloppy looking. This one was beautiful. Okay, I'm heating up with the torch in the center, giving Jake time you to- You just want him like that? Yeah. To heat up the Marini. This is also allowing the stem area to cool off so it's not wobbling. Really cool the way the steel changes color when you're torching the, the moisture out of something like this. Is this the one? I've got the burner right on the sides of the pumpkin. And to Jake's point, he said it will lose its shape. Yeah, it does. I guess the warty pumpkins are the weird looking ones. Is it worth picking up any of those or no? It is hot in here today. It is hot in here. I'm like rolling. Real hot. Uh, can I have a bench flow? Yes, some inflation. 
This is a good type of inflation. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Nothing yet. Okay, blow. Oh. So the bottom's slightly thin. Can I do a Maurice on it? For sure. Ready for it? Yep, I am. Coming at ya. Michelle is saving this piece from my frustration, folks. I told him no monster drinks. No monster drinks for me. What are you doing with the GA on the pumpkins on the bottom? Yes, that's correct. Do you want to switch it up with Matt now? Yep. Is this the timing? Let me just push that bottom in. And so I should GA stamp it now. Yeah. Yeah. Let me let you stamp it and I'll jump on the camera. Sweet. Would you put that 20-point uh, mold on the left side of Dad over there for him? What? You want that one on the left right by Chris. kind of warty. So, as soon as, uh, then you got the camera, Mom. It looks pretty warty. Yep. Okay, turn it so we can see the Glass Academy and the knockoff station. I'll turn it right here so we're not standing on either side of it, but I can turn this and put it like this or something. Yep. Otherwise, we'd be standing in front of it, you know. Here comes a nice one. Look at this. There's your shears, but I'll do it. Hot glass, right on top. Nice, nice. Now they're wrapping nice the stem. Nice stem, a beauty. Do not try this at home. Dangerous. Nice one. Not dangerous, just tricky. The cameraman comes in clutch. That's a gorgeous one. Just so you don't forget where you're at, Please. Jake finesses. We use the torch on the back end to make sure like the there's no sharp edges that everything gets tucked in. It also gets a little reduction with it. So that kind of happens with this torch. And actually the fluffer torch is what does the reduction. All right, so that's, woo, look at how he spins it. That's like even better. Give it a quick walk by the uh, camera. That's a tight one. Uh, That's cool. It looks still. warty. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. It does look warty. All right. Okay, and we're good. And away it goes over to the other shot, Way side to of the shot. In, Way to hop in, too. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank the you. Camera moving on its own. It is. It's like the, the things are making it slide back. Well, that All was right. something really fun. Huh? One of the warts fell off? Probably a good thing. You don't need too many warts. Bad news. That was fun. Awesome. So now it's your turn. All right, you jump on the camera. All right. I'll jump on. Tell Matt's back. Let's see here if I can comes. get a nice zoom into what's going on over here. So I need two pins. We are prototyping a new class. This is something that's gonna happen in the fall. 
And so... It's good to be on the camera again. We're what prototyping was a new class, you're saying? Yeah, I can't wait. This one is going to be very cool. What is it? Didn't I tell you what it is? This oh, is the lamp. I'm trying to get it out loud. All right. Behind us, we have the giant train driving by with automotive parts because we are in the Motor City. So to prototype this, today I'm looking at the shape more than I am the color, but I do know people like the perps. The perps. So I am doing that. I will design specific colors. One of the things that I want to talk about is the frit size being larger. It's going to produce a bigger polka dot or dot pattern like I want, but this is still too small. For these lampshades, gonna be number two, and I'm gonna do very specific colors because next year, next season, we'll change up the colors. So what I like to do is do a variety of colors each season, so that if you did it in 2022, in 2023, you come back because you're interested in it as well. Fresh color. Look at that. Like, that. like look, zoom in on that pattern. When the green is in there, I just love how that pops. Mm. Right? So beautiful. Makes me happy. Well, let's see what we can do. Here we go. So this is the uh, experimentation product. So pro 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 pro. We have one more Which product you need? that's in experimentation for a class that we teach, which is the sun catcher. And that one is in the midst. It's been stalled a little bit by our world record and now the Renaissance Festival. But that's in the mix as well as now Michelle's new idea for this super cool nightstand uh, special situation. So let's see what she does. She's got a small blowpipe. It's going to be thin. It's going to be spherical. And it's going to be colorful as well. The perch, two types of perch. She's cooling down the pipe. I'm seeing two giant glasses full of ice water, and it makes me miss my water bottle. So I'm going to let her start off with this, and I'll be right back. Yes, you can kill the garage. All right, so I got a nice gather here. Well, this is going to be a student project, so students aren't going to do things thin and delicate. A They're going to do them. So there's room for air. Yeah, and then like reheating the glass, they need a minute to reheat and all that kind of jazz. As we spoke about before, the thicker you make something, the less room for uh, that temperature to cool down fast, for things to break, for it to be delicate. So for a lot of our classes, we do try and lean towards the thicker side of things. It's really hard to prototype a class for me because you got to move slow like the student would. Like the teacher's got to give time to give instruction. Designing and then, class mm. products are really difficult. Right? Thinking so, through what the instructor can handle, yeah. what the students can handle, what the glass, what the color can handle. It's a, a very difficult product process. I got it. So being a student directed by a teacher, the glass would be colder like it just was. So not as much glass will stick to it. That's exactly what I want. Then here I am pretending I'm a student. Do what, instructor? Over where? How? Oh, in this? So now my second tip. Does she look like a student to you guys? <laughs> so again, the glass wasn't super hot, so not a ton stuck to it. That's what I'm looking for. That looks kind of warty right the there. The purple rounded out. Well, that's just it. Certain colors are going to do that. But then with the warts, we heat it too many times. They, they round out. Right. <laughs> That's why I wondered if the frit dip or the handmade water frit would work. This being a Sunday, a pre-recorded show, folks, I hope you're having a relaxing and cool and tasty, delicious Sunday. And if you're coming to visit us at the Ren Fair, then uh, Get there what's early. happening? Get there early. But uh, yeah, it's all good around here. Thursday has been a productive day for us, except for my frustration on the last piece. Find me a block. I didn't check them. Bigger that, block? Yeah. So blocks are nice because they just round out the piece. As you're teaching, it's an easy tool as well. We're looking for a round globe. 
This is going to be a tabletop functional lamp. It's really cool to see. I mean, there's so much thought, like we were just listening it off. And even after this, these are the two prototypes that Michelle is going to bring to her design guru this weekend. And they're going to look at the two pieces and decide what they think about them, how they go together. and. Oh, something that's affordable. Something that's affordable. Just think about the design. I mean, it's more than just like, oh, there's that. With anything we do, it's more than just, oh, there's that product. We got to do it. Then we need it. to name it. Then we need to price it. I like the spots. It looks good. Now I'm being aware of it's very thick. So Real letting thick. letting the, the top part cool off. Letting it chill. My ultimate size, cantaloupe is too big. I would say like a large grapefruit is the size I'm going for. A large grapefruit. Now what's important is that the light bulb fits through the hole. And the shape, if it's a student making it, if it's oblong or gets out of round, that doesn't bother me because that's the student making it. But this part, the instructor will have to do? Not necessarily. Well, because if they squeeze it down too much and can't get the light bulb through it. Right. Flow. And also the student, um, I want the student to blow it up. Flow. You guys have to let us know what you think of Matt's camera ability on Tuesday's show. That's his first time working the camera for us, but he does know his cameras and his tech equipment pretty well. So you'll have to let us know what you think of the slow pan. You know it's hot in here when your tools are hot. Flow. Oh, yeah. But it's also bonfire weather. I'm gonna have a bonfire tonight. I've got some wood here I want you to take. Perfect, how about that? You know what Would happened to me yesterday? Today's Thursday. Yesterday I had two letters to mail and I went and put them by my bike. So when I left the office, I was like, I'll, dry, I'll ride by the mailbox. I set them down and I said, you know what? What if the mailman just walks by? I could just hand it to him instead. Turned around, who's walking by? Comes around the corner. The mailman came right by at that exact moment. That's amazing. So that's why it's like, be careful what you talk about. Because that stuff manifests Big instantly. Time. Big time. So this is it. Uh, it doesn't look super high tech, but the student's going to be doing a lot of the work, applying the color, then these bubbles. So the next step is to see how the light disperses. I'm thinking a frosted light bulb inside, so it's a soft light. And then it goes on a base, a square base. You know what I'm thinking? Is I'm thinking we should try one with baking soda like we were talking about and see what it looks like to have all the bubbles in there. Yeah, but that's not a, a yeah, that's fine, but that's not a student one. It's what? That's not gonna be a student project. Why not? Because there's too many variables. We don't even know baking soda yet. Will you torch this? What? Will you torch this after I break it off? Where? Over there? Yeah. So another part is what I don't want is a lot of finishing work. So I'm hoping this breaks off just lovely so that the student can do this part of it as well. So that there's no finishing, grinding, business etc etc i think there will be a little bit of grinding where are the it's not the end of the world the cloth right here where am i going over here Number four probably on the right side okay not bad so that's the start of a new class era We've got about five or six classes we've been doing for quite a while now. We've been trying to switch it up, but it's like I went into into class uh, designing phase for a while and tried to design three different ones, but 
there's just so many facets to letting the teacher do the work correct to the student to everything else it's, it's not an easy process so you're seeing this now perhaps this might become a class January next year even later we don't know but it's gonna take a minute to design the whole thing. yeah because the base two, it could have three levels of the base there could be a cardboard version you know that comes with the class you could upgrade to a metal version or a stone version or something like I want different options for the base and then people can change out the colors too every time they take the class yeah. so you could take the class four times and just make the globe in different color patterns um, but the base you choose so yeah all fun well all we'll save good. the baking soda for next week or whatever it is because that idea got shot down well, and it's just in the moment just in the moment <laughs> so we'll shoot that idea on next experimental show words yeah, something really crazy. Something not literal. Baking soda. No, no, just like maybe bubbly or like, or Spotty. like. Spotty. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta use the computer for that kind of thing. Jay can't think without his computer. Thank you All everyone right, for watching. It's been a pleasure. It's been a lovely day. We're gonna go sweat behind the scenes some more so we can get awesome products out to you guys. We love you. Thank you for watching. Hope you're having a great Sunday.